Charlotte Flair just made her big return to WWE, so we'll see what's new there. We'll also check out the new developments in Sami Zayn and Roman Reigns' storyline, and much more. Let's start things off with Charlotte Flair's return to WWE. Charlotte Flair's last WWE appearance before December 30th was seven months back at WrestleMania Backlash. Backlash was the event that saw Charlotte Flair drop the SmackDown Women's title to Ronda Rousey. Charlotte not only dropped the title at the event, but completely vanished off of WWE television following the match. Charlotte was married during that time off and had a lengthy hiatus, but everything worked out fine because Charlotte had a long reign and the fans didn't mind seeing the returning Ronda Rousey get the title. Well, fast forward seven months later and the roles were almost fully reversed. Now fans were eager to see someone knock Ronda Rousey off as champion, and just so happens to be the individual was Charlotte Flair. So Ronda Rousey successfully defends her title against Raquel Rodriguez, and gets on the mic only to be interrupted by the returning Charlotte Flair. Charlotte had a complete makeover from a new theme song, new gear, and what appears to be a new babyface persona. Charlotte made her way to the ring, and was able to manipulate Ronda Rousey into putting her title on the line right there and then. Shayna appeared to be against the idea of Ronda Rousey following into Charlotte's trap and advised her not to do the match. Ronda had just escaped a match with Raquel, so it wasn't really the smart move for her to compete in another match so soon. It's basically what happened at Ronda Rousey at Money in the Bank, where she survived Natalia only to get cashed in on by Liv Morgan and lost the title. So Ronda lets Charlotte get into her head and agrees to put the title on the line against her right on the spot. Charlotte Flair is able to get the win and become the new SmackDown Women's Champion. Lots of fans were happy with Charlotte's return and instant dethroning of Ronda Rousey, while other fans are never too happy with the scenario of a superstar instantly becoming champion on their first night back. So, you have your split amongst the fans into those two separate categories. But Charlotte Flair is the new SmackDown Women's Champion to kick off 2023. And she could possibly even walk into WrestleMania 39 as champion as well. It'll be interesting to see what direction they take Charlotte's character in. Does she remain in the babyface role? Or will she eventually fall back into the heel role? Assuming Ronda Rousey sticks around full-time, It'll also be interesting to see the route they take her in, considering the fact that Shayna tried to stop her from putting the title on the line, but Ronda didn't listen. It's possible that the entire situation could cause some massive cracks between Ronda and Shayna's relationship, so maybe Ronda and Shayna could have a program with each other here in the very near future, since they're starting to possibly drift apart there. Now let's check back in with everything related to Roman Reigns and the Bloodline. Sami Zayn knocks the bloodline's door and was greeted by Paul Heyman. Sami wanted to go into the locker room, but Heyman wanted to talk to him about a certain situation beforehand. Heyman brought up the December 23rd edition of SmackDown and how Sami's passion in everything he said was amazing, exactly what Roman Reigns knew he was always capable of. But Heyman pointed out the issue of Sami Zayn basically overshadowing Roman Reigns and the rest of the bloodline. Heyman pointed out how the crowd was chanting Sami's name while Roman was out there, and basically implying that Sami was outshining the rest of the bloodline members. Sami asked Heyman if Roman had a problem and mentioned any of that at all. Heyman said that Roman shouldn't have to mention it, and how you always have to stay three steps ahead on the island of relevancy. So maybe it was Heyman actually trying to look out and warn Sami Zayn. But Heyman was definitely delivering some sort of message there by implying that Sami's popularity may be getting too out of hand to the point that it's getting on Roman's nerves. We then follow that moment up later on in the night with a segment between Sami Zayn and the Bloodline. Sami flat out asks Roman if the chanting Sami bothers him at all. The entire tension and mood in the room darkens right away. You see the nervous look of uncertainty on the face of all the Bloodline members as they await Roman's answer. Roman takes a long pause before he answers the question, but then cracks into a massive smile and says that it doesn't bother him at all. 
That's when all the Bloodline members also regain their smiles, after hearing that positive answer from Roman. Roman once again compliments Sammy for his deliverance and what he brought to the table when he was speaking on SmackDown the week prior. Roman said that if Sammy even brings 10% of the same energy, he wouldn't have to do anything and how it'll be a night off for him. So again, this tribal chief version of Roman Reigns is known for being this narcissistic, egotistical, self-centered, tyrant sort of character. So knowing what the character is, the fact that he's laughing and smiling about someone else captivating the audience while he's out there, it just seems a little too hard to believe those words from Roman. It's clear that it bothers him, but for whatever reason, he's masking up these emotions, maybe to possibly keep Sami Zayn completely off his trail of what he's up to. So that moment is followed up with the actual main event match itself. It was Sami Zayn and Roman Reigns versus John Cena and Kevin Owens. For an ordinary title match with nothing truly at stake, it still had a big match feel to it because a lot was on the line for each individual person. John Cena was competing in this match to keep his 20-year-long streak of having at least one match a year intact. Kevin Owens was competing in the match because of his ongoing issues with Roman Reigns, Sami Zayn, and the Bloodline. Sami Zayn was fighting for the opportunity to once again prove himself to Roman Reigns and the Bloodline by trying to pick up another big win. Roman was there to possibly continue to keep an eye on Sami Zayn, so everyone was up to something in this match. Unfortunately for Sami and Roman, they came out on the losing side of the match. Sami Zayn was pinned, officially costing them the loss and technically breaking a pretty long winning streak for Roman Reigns. Roman wasn't pinned himself for the loss, so that three-year streak is still intact. But this is basically the first time in right around three years that Roman had legitimately lost a match. So, there was a moment a while back where Xavier Woods technically beat Roman by disqualification. But that really wasn't the first loss, that was just a DQ loss. But this tag team match here on December 30th was a flat out loss. The first official loss for Roman in years. So, it'll be interesting if that big stat comes into the story. Sammy was responsible for the big win at War Games. But now, he's also responsible for this big loss. So, what will that do to Sammy's bloodline status? Roman shouldn't just brush this loss off like nothing. He should make it a big deal, and maybe that'll continue to snowball into something much bigger. But this tag team loss right here could be the beginning of the end for Sami Zayn and the bloodline. War Games is ancient history. Sammy will now have to once again prove himself in a new, bigger, and better way coming out of this loss. Or it may very well be over. So we'll have to see where this story goes to next and if Roman actually is getting jealous of Sami Zayn. But what are your thoughts on today's stories? Leave your comments below, don't forget to subscribe with all notifications on, and leave a like if you enjoyed. Thanks for watching, guys.